Welcome to Stop Fake, the place where we set the record straight on disinformation about Ukraine. I'm America House Director Christiane Hofland, and this week's edition of Fakes and Manipulation includes Ukrainian shelling kills 10-year-old boy in Donetsk. Ukrainian military raid Catholic monastery looking for conscripts. Medical reform will lead to mass firings. So let's get to the details. Scores of Russian media reported that on November 5, a 10-year-old boy was killed and another two were wounded as a result of the Ukrainian army shelling the Russian separatist-occupied city of Donetsk. All the fake stories cite one source, the official Russian agency RIA Novosti, who in turn cites an anonymous representative of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. Rosia 24 even went further and declared 10-year-old boy dies at the hands of Ukrainian military in Donbass. All the stories are illustrated with unnamed and undated photographs of damaged buildings, billowing smoke clouds, bits of shrapnel and exploded ordnance. Meanwhile, Donetsk media reported a completely different version of the story. The city's regional news portal Donetsky Novosti reported that three schoolboys were playing in a school stadium and they threw a rock at an unidentified object. It exploded, killing one boy and wounding the other two. The source for this story is Donetsk Regional Administration Chief Maxine Zhukovsky. The object the boys hit during, turned out to be an exploded mine. Following the tragic incident, a video was published online on November 6 in which Dr. Alexander Kravchenko of the Donetsk Trauma Center describes the injuries the boy sustained as a result of the exploded mine. Stopfake reached out to the Ukrainian military about the incident. The press office informed that the Ukrainian army never shells civilian targets and only responds to enemy fire. The occupied eastern territories are filled with mines and unexploded bombs, resulting in frequent and sometimes fatal accidents. Last week, RIA Novosti and other Russian media reported that Ukraine's military conducted a night raid on a Ukrainian Catholic monastery looking for conscripts. The sites quoted a priest called Agusin Loiko and claimed that the military surrounded and searched the monastery trying to find young men evading military service. As their source, the Russian sites quoted a dubious website Novini Zhovkivshini i Yavorivshini. Judging from its content, the site appears to have been launched only a few days ago. Its first story is dated November 3, the last November 5. The site is currently inactive and lists a warning that the story about the monastery raid is fake. The monastery at the center of this fake story is the Basilian Brothers Monastery in the western Ukrainian city of Zhovka, Lviv Oblast. In a statement published on the Ukrainian Catholic Church portal, the monastery's abbot, Father Volodymyr Malenyuk, said that no such raid had taken place. The priest quoted in the story does not exist, and the photograph used to illustrate the fake story is not of their monastery. The Ukrainian Catholic Church also wrote to the regional military commissar, Alexander Tyshenko, advising them of the fake being circulated. The chief of the Ukrainian Catholic Church military chaplain's office for the Zhovka region also told Stop Fake that no such raid had taken place. Russian media are awash with fake stories claiming that in an attempt to save medical costs, Ukraine will fire all felchers and replace them with paramedics. According to the World Health Organization, a felcher is a healthcare professional who provides various medical services limited to emergency treatment and ambulance care. Ukraine.ru, a prolific generator of fakes about Ukraine, published this story first. Many other Russian sites soon followed. Even Nasha Misto, a news portal based in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro, ran a story with the headline, Felchers Outlawed, Paramedics we don't have any. The source of Ukraina.ru's story is Ukrainian MP Ihor Shurma of the pro-Russian opposition bloc. He announced that as of November 1st, the position of Felcher was liquidated and all such personnel should lose their jobs in accordance with the Ministry of Economic Development Order number 6327. Mr. Shurma is a long-term MP, formerly of the disgraced Regents Party of ousted President Viktor Yanukovych. 
Sharma cited a non-existent document. The Economic Development Ministry has never issued any order entitled number 6327. But there is a law and a Cabinet of Ministers executive order classifying medical professions, in which all medical professional titles have been streamlined according to international classifications and European Union practice. Stopfake asked Ukraine's Ministry of Health to explain the confusing situation. The ministry responded that Ukraine has approved a new classification of professions effective November 1 so that Ukraine's healthcare sector reflects international norms. Ukraine has a health system dating back to the Soviet era with job titles that do not correspond to any Western equivalents. Under the new classification, job titles will be introduced such as paramedic and doctor of internal medicine. Yesterday's Felcher will now be known as a paramedic. The Ministry of Health stressed that the new classification does not entail anyone being fired. Instead, medical workers will now use new professional names and will undergo additional training to meet international standards. That's it for this week. You can find much more dissected disinformation as well as useful tools for spotting fakes on the Stop Fake website. Be vigilant, take care of your mental hygiene, and use your brains. If you spot any disinformation about Ukraine, send it to us for a truth autopsy. I'm Christiane Hofflin, and this is Stop Fake. Thanks for watching.